All right. I know. Overcast day. I know we don't really have many of those here, but it does just make you feel like you you don't like these days. It reminds me of England, of Wisconsin. Why don't you put on your winter white and cheer up? (laughs) (laughs) She's here to teach you about the hottest makeup trend. It's known as mineral foundation. Sophie Iliano is here. And I think Heather's going to probably go along for the ride. I was going to wear my winter white, but then I thought making foundation might not be the best. Idea. No, yes, it's that's not. good. Okay, yes. that's very good. You know. what, now, speaking what, of, yes. what is mineral foundation? I don't know. You ladies okay. probably all know. But. Well, mineral foundation is minerals from the earth that are ground into a powder. They become super, super popular and they use as a foundation. All the big <clears throat> brands now, all of them have a mineral foundation. A lot of the celebrities are wearing them. So I think we have an a image of some of these celebrities because it gives a very natural, uh, flawless finish. Sandra and, Bullock is always, she's oh, they always look, she's so She's just stunning. beautiful. It's so yeah. natural, this, this mineral mm-hmm. look. And Mark, it, um, you can either get it in a powder or a liquid form. Comes in both. Yeah, and it goes on and it does look very natural. And there it are does. healing elements to it as well. Yeah, yes. yes. So, so why, why, why not buy, why make? Well, why I like to make is that I can exclude ingredients that I don't like. So preservatives, as you know, I don't necessarily love those. And also, there is an ingredient that you might want to look out for, you at home. It is Mm -hmm. called bismuth oxychloride. Now, this is in a lot of mineral foundations. Mm. I don't like it because it is very drying and irritating to the skin. And that's why a lot of people say, oh, I don't like mineral foundation because it feels dry. It's because of that ingredient. Say it oh. again. What's, what's it called? Bismuth oxychloride. So why is it in there then? Yeah. Yeah. Because it it's a filler and it's, it, it, it has, it's sort of powdery. But anyway, yeah. what I'm okay. showing you how to make today doesn't contain that. Any of that? No, okay. and it's really... Pretty. All right, well, Very Heather good. wants to know. Let's, how do we right. make it? Are you excited yes, to learn how to make it? Yes, let's do it. Right, let's do it. So what you, what you need to do, the first thing, Heather, is you're going to pick your shade, all right? Okay. So when you pick your shade, what I'm going to, and you do feel free just to sort of play with this on the back of your hand. Now, when you pick your shade, what I recommend is that you I go, that. A sh- nice. that, that's actually yeah. lovely on you. Yeah, I think this is it. Go a shade maybe slightly darker than you would normally Mm -hmm. because you don't want that white powdery look on your face. Mineral foundation is very forgiving. Mm -hmm. So it blends in really nicely. And if you go a little darker, then you get a bit of bronze. That's a color as well. All right. So do we throw it in the mortar and why don't we mix it? Well, first off, Heather, let's, you can. And that's the joy of making your own. Right. You customize. And I'd love you to do that. So the first thing is, Heather, we're going to take a base here, a mineral base. Now, what is very important about this or what I love about it is that it contains sunscreen, a lot of natural sunscreen, titanium, um, dioxide, zinc oxide, all natural mineral sunscreens, so you're covered. Now, the other thing I'm going to add is something you have in your kitchen anyway. It's cornstarch, and that gives it a smooth, velvety texture, a very silky texture. Do you want to have a go at just sure. um, milling that? Now, the reason, and you can really give it some elbow grease, Heather, and the reason why we're doing this, and you want to mill it at home for a good 10 minutes, the more you mill it, the silkier your foundation will be. Could you put it in one of your little magic bullets or your you little... You can't. I did think of that, actually, yeah. Yeah. but you can't. You actually just want to grind those right. minerals. And how many ounces of elbow grease? Four. About four. Well, you said to put some elbow grease. Um, four ounces. Four, four ounces, ounces of elbow, elbow grease. Thank okay. you, Mark. Now, we're also going to add a couple of drops of lavender essential oil. This will make it um, antibacterial and also make it smell amazing. Okay. All right. And then finally, Heather, do you want to add a little <clears throat> bit of your pigment? So you take a yes. teaspoon and you can play probably about um, a that teaspoon much? and a half. Yes, if you put in more. more, does it change the intensity of the color? Yes. So you should really be careful how much you add. Absolutely. You and the subtract. recipe is on the website. Yes. Okay. You can't you subtract. You you can, too. Oh, you're better. You're mixing. You're being a chemist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll just not? tilt That's it up a little fun. bit so oh. that so that shorts you can come in clearly and see. But then you want to mill that. Now, this is the swap out here. So I spent about 10 minutes milling this color last night. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do, Heather, when you're done, is we're going to transfer this to a little sifter container here. Oh, okay. All right. And so in that goes to the sifter container. Smells nice. And it does smell nice, doesn't it? And I have an after. It's like still kind of white. Yes. I have a little after um, Mm -hmm. here. Now, 
Uh, Heather, we've got our model. Oh, hello. This is Brooke. Now, Hi, Brooke, Brooke. As Hello, producer see. Brooke. Brooke? Yes, yeah, she no, has a model. really... She's, she's, oh, sorry. She's a model. She's a model. She's a model, yeah. mm -hmm. she has model Brooke. Model, model Brooke, Brooke has very beautiful skin. Yes, she does. Anyway, but I've been telling her off because she doesn't put anything on her skin to protect it. And I want to <gasps> show you how this yeah. works. So, Shorts, sure, so if we can come in close to this, I want to show you your mineral um, foundation. You're going to empty some, sift some into the lid. And then you swirl. And then you tap off like that. And then we're going to come on this side here, and I just want to show you how beautiful this is. It's easy to blend. It's going to take the shine off. It's going to add about a 30 SPF you can sunscreen. Can you reach to the left a little bit? So the, uh, other, other way, darling. Other, oh, yeah. other way. There you go. It's very, left very light. Too. And, yeah, and look how nice and luminous that that's is. That's really yeah. beautiful. And, yeah. Christina, it's mm -hmm. buildable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if there's imperfections, then, you know, you're going to have that lovely... Uh, uh, you know, you're going to be able to but just... wait, there aren't any imperfections on well, the Well, there aren't. Do you feel aren't. like you're going to fall asleep? I feel like you are. I, I'm very relaxed. <laughs> and, I, and I'm actually wearing the mineral sunscreen oh, today, okay. so... But it looks beautiful. How's it feel, Brooke? It actually feels amazing. Yeah? It's really, really nice. It feels almost moisturizing. Mm -hmm. Can we uh, use this year-round, Sophie? You can use it year-round. Now, what I am going to suggest you do is, and we did this to Brooke before, apply a primer and a moisturizer always before you put your dry minerals on because you need to have that moisture in your skin. Mm. So that's important. How long will this last in your makeup? It will run? last for at least a year, if oh. not longer, with no preservatives. That's amazing. Heather, what do you think? Because uh, I'm looking at it. It looks really beautiful. What do you do? You, you know, I, I've never really tried it. Yeah. You know, um, so now I kind of feel like I should try it. I yeah, should try it, the mineral. I normally do the, the liquid and then like a yeah. bronzer, but now I'm, I'm <clears> hearing <throat> you speak about it. I'm like, oh, I should just try it and see, you know, but if you it gives see. the same coverage. It's really yeah. quite yeah. lovely.